Okay, so I watched Paul King's Wonka, and then after that I thought, I want to see his Paddington films, because people talk about those a lot, and Paddington 2 is considered like one of the greatest films of all time, or one of the best reviewed films of all time, so I figured, let's watch them, especially since Paddington 2 is going to be leaving um, HBO Max on New Year's Eve. So I watched the first Paddington, which was which is currently available on Netflix if you want to see it, and it's amazing. It just showcases how like anything that Paul King can do, at least anything that I've seen from him, is just it's just full of charm, wonder, childlike innocence. He he makes these kind of family films that we don't get that often. Ones with very strong emotional cores and that are also just so funny and charming. Like, you can't just help but just, like, enjoy most of the characters in this film. Paddington's the big one. I just love the sim his kind of simple um, personality, his voice, uh... I forgot who voices Paddington again. Let me just do a quick little. Oh yeah, um, Ben Winshaw. He's fantastic in the role. Definitely born to play Paddington. Hugh Bonville, Sally Hawkins, Julie Walters, Nicole Kidman, Jim Broadbent. Just terrific. Sally Hawkins, like... She's one of those act like we don't deserve an an actor who just gives up a performance of a character just like willing to open her heart and help anyone. The kids were, were very likable and well acted. Um, Nicole Kidman made for a pretty good antagonist. Um, London looks great. Peru looks great. I would. I am kind of interested to to see what marmalade sandwiches taste like now. I've never had marmalade because you know I'm, I'm. I'm an American Yank over here. But I would love to try it at some point. It does look really nice. But yeah, Paddington is just this incredible family film I, I I'm just really like in awe of of this movie and it gets me more excited for Paddington 2 so I'm ready for that <laughs>